All right, today's video, I picked up an Eastwood dual voltage powder coating system, something I've been wanting to pick up for a long time to do some projects with, especially on the 57 Chevy that I'm working on. And also I built that Factor 55 a little while ago. And this is something I want to do. So I also picked up some powder coating too. I got the lime green and I got the powder mirror blue eight ounce. So let's have a look at this and see what all comes in the box. This is the system itself right here, obviously the gun. I've never used one before so this will be pretty exciting. And then inside here we got low voltage, high voltage, something we're going to have to research and see how that's done. Looks like an on and off button. That must be like a ground clamp or something you clamp to your piece. So it sticks. We're going to have to read the instructions, get set up, do a practice piece and see what happens. Seems pretty straightforward. Plug in the power supply, maintain 4 inches, most applications 15 kV, contact with the emitter when button is depressed will result in shock. I must say. Apparently this stuff can be quite flammable as well. I'm just kind of makeshifting up a box here because I've never powder coated before. This is going to be my first time. This is the part I'm going to do. It's a camera attachment I made. You guys will see it afterwards. The machining is a little on the rough side. There's some highs and lows. Obviously those are going to show up when we do it. That's why this is just a practice run see what happens seems pretty simple clean coat cure need something to clean the part I'm gonna use that sure wipe it's for cleaning body panels for painting so there's no reason why it won't work for our application wipe it down clean it got my gloves on so it says regulator no more 10 psi got it set for about nine That's it over. Do I look kind of green? I just got the oven heating up. We gotta be pretty close to 450 degrees now. That's what the powder coat instruction says. We're gonna grab that, put it in the oven until it starts to flow, and then turn it down to 400 for 20 minutes. That's what the bottle says. Well, let's see what happens. Pieces in the oven, just waiting for it to flow. I guess that's what the term is. You can kind of see it on the wire. 
see what happens on the piece. Looks like we got some flow action there, just like it said. Now we turn it down to 400. 20 minutes. And that piece will be done. I'm just gonna throw this outside right now. Minus 10 weather for like five, 10 minutes. That should be enough to cool her off. There we have it. Looking pretty good. Surface prep, obviously, you can see some machining lines, everything else. I knew that was gonna show up. I'm not too concerned. I just want to see overall how the process went. And I'm pretty impressed. Yeah, it looks all right. And there's the finished product right there on my camera. Powder coating the mount turned out to be pretty good. I'm going to end the video here of the Eastwood powder coating gun. First time use. Definitely use a mask like I did. Make sure it's in a ventilated place. When you are baking it, I had the door open and then I went inside and then let it air out and come back. Definitely not a hard thing to do. First time out of the box, I think it turned out all right. Remember, surface prep is key. Any imperfections in your part that you're going to do, most likely you're going to show up. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. And I want to thank you guys for joining me on this adventure.